Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the hanged man. And I almost went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm rambling, aren't I? I don't mind. You're adorable when you're flustered. After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake. Leaving the Dalish. Who could pass up life in Kirkwall? The city of sunshine and butterflies. I suppose if I hadn't left my people, I never would have met you. If you were Dalish, my people would have a kingdom by now. And half of Thedas would be attacking us. So maybe things worked out for the best. Does it bother you that I'm human? No, I'm not saying I change you for... I'm making things worse, aren't I? I just... I'm one of the Elven. I'm supposed to preserve who we are, and if I... There are reasons that it's bad to... Is it warm in here? Elgonon. I'll stop talking now. I guess I'll postpone making myself more... Elfie. Oh, I don't know. You'd look handsome with pointy ears. Not that you don't now. The Keeper... My whole clan will object if we... Not that they can possibly hate me anymore, I suppose. Their disapproval is a small price to pay for being with you. Meryl. It's all right. now? Are we... What did this mean? Now we both decide what happens next. If you hadn't come to Sandermount that day, I can't imagine where I'd be now. I love you! I probably shouldn't have said that, did I? I always say the stupidest things. Uh -oh. I love you, Meryl. Actually, I was going to suggest you move in with me. Here? In Hightown? The rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. And you? With an elf. Marvenon. You really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then... Neither am I. Rana's a patient music teacher, but Meryl should really just stick to magic. I could have left the amulet in there and forgotten all about it. What would the witch have done then? Greetings, Master. Your home was difficult to find. I've never been out on my own before, but I found it. Many people know of you. I hope I've made myself useful. I've already begun cleaning and I can cook. Not as good as Papa, but a little. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? What sort of skill? Not many, I fear. The Magister bade me to clean and sometimes... But I can learn. I'll serve you well. Please don't hurt me. You've been through a great deal. I miss Papa, the other servants. I even feel sorry for the Magister. Is that bad? I'm sure Hadriana was very thankful for such loyalty. 
I sup I'll serve you just as well, Master. You'll see. If you're staying here, Arana, it will be as my servant. You mean, I won't be a slave anymore? You'll be paid, like anyone else. I... a slave is all I've ever been, like Papa and Grandpapa before me. I'll try to be a good servant. I hope all is well. Boom! Ah, there he goes again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. I've never seen another dwarf like him. Does this run in your family? Not at all, but Sandal isn't really my son. I found him in the deep roads when I left Orzammar for good. Raised him as my own now. Isn't that right, my boy? I like Bodan. He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Sandal's quite useful to have around. That he is. Also, I've always said. Oh, Maker knows what'll happen when I'm gone. I try not to think about it. I want some pie. I want to go home. If I may say so, I don't think Mr. He's I can make it for you. Hey, look. A partially burned page from Anders' manifesto. I want to go home. We can go back to Ferelden one day, my boy. I promise.
clothing. Perhaps they were taken off the murdered women. Those clothes are so fine. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! You're not... You're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. So the wild-eyed hysteria is just for show, then? You don't understand. Someone is after her. I had to keep her safe. I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Twenty silver if he says, it wasn't me, it was the one-armed man. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. I can help you track down your sister's killer. No, I can manage on my own. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Did I tell him that? I must have completely forgotten. Don't you remember sending this message? I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. That's not a good sign. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding.
some mage sent that thing here to kill him? Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gascard Dupuis. Did he do this? Gascard was only a small piece of the puzzle. I think he's innocent. <sighs> we should have believed Emmerich. I thought he was just trying for one last shot at glory. Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't, just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Deandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. I know someone who might be able to help. Gascard Dupuis. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. It's very shiny. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? <coughs> I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's him. My own living, breathing, slobbering status symbol. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head. Say you... I told you already! I saw her! Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. 
And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. It's not too late. She could still be alive. Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. This blood is fresh. There are lingering traces of... something. I think this was used for blood magic. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another. More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? There. I hope I'm not too late. This place feels strange. Wrong. Don't you remember? You found Nanette's hand here. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. Someone forgot to conceal the door to his hideout. Alessa. this locket. It belongs to Mother.
is this? Oh, that's a pretty little shrine. The woman in the painting. She almost looks like mother. This man is either very devoted or very insane. I need to find her. Now! I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. You're crazy. I get it. Where's my mother? I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin. Her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Magic was the only thing keeping her alive. I'm so sorry. I knew you would come. You know me. I always save the day. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. Now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. You'll be here alone. I'll be fine, Mother. My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud.
Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. You're happy they took Bethany away? No, I didn't mean it like that. I wish magic hadn't touched her. She would have been better off. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. I will deal with breaking the news to Bethany. You've enough on your mind. Take care, my boy. Arabalas, Marvinan. I'm glad you're here, Meryl. Leandro is in a better place now. She's with the Maker. Or with Falandine. You never know. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? Of course, Hawk. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. There definitely seems to be something between you and Daisy these days. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, 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 I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. Hawk. I know I'm damned near irresistible, but you're just too high maintenance for me. Sorry. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Meryl is a sweet girl, but there's a whole lot of crazy in that little package. In all the time you've known me, have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. Why a mirror? I don't understand. To the void. You got my letter. 
You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this, and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering sore to divulge who is behind the thefts. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <clears throat> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! I wish I didn't have to do this, but lives are on the line. Miss Hare, please, don't hurt me. I knew you since you was young and loathering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. I beg you, monsieur, don't hit me again. Us loathering folk should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in loathering. Clean home, fertile land, friends. In Kirkwall, we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Trust me, things could be worse. Tell me how to stop the next ambush. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much, but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. I'll make sure your family is taken care of. I'm humbled by that offer. Thank you. I hid some gold in the bone pit. I'll mark it on your map. I'll regret stealing from someone like you, so please, take it back. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? I just want it to be over. There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment. But make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. A public showing of mercy will be good for morale. Let him go. But he's a Pharrell... A criminal. Nobody will care what happens to him. Think about it. Sabine turned to crime for two reasons. He's desperate, and he bears no love for you. Spare him publicly, and you'll earn some loyalty from the miners. I see your point. Very well. For the sake of morale, I will spare this dog. Oh, thank you, Miss Ayers. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. We're too late for your boys. But we <laughs> That was almost too easy. Wait. I recognize that lout. Who is he? 
He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. Let's pay Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. Coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Lily didn't die by my hand. Someone else did this. Explain yourself. This is a case of the right hand not knowing what the left is doing. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. Men, we have to get... You must be Brecker. And you're that lice-covered refugee. Hope you enjoyed saying that. Those are the last words you'll ever speak. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolved, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy.
How much longer do I have to wait? Orc. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say. At least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? I could use one. As much, or as little as you want. No one tells you how to mourn. And when someone says, move on, you take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. It is apparently not enough that the Kunari define my political life. They must also infect what I hold personal. It is my son, Seamus. The life you saved he would now squander by converting to the Kun. He has left for the Kunari compound. Please, Sarah Hawk, convince Seamus to come home. You know this will only end in trouble. Fitting. That's where it started. My son is not foolish. He will listen to reason, and you are in the best position to offer that opportunity. Please, do what you can. Viscount or Seamus himself. All are forbidden. So, a 
hope the Arashok wasn't planning on keeping the Viscount's son. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Ba still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry, a last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. I've had about enough of Patrice, several times over. A threat against Vidithari can have only one answer. I will suffer only one outcome. I will be watching, Hawk. The demand of the Kuhn is clear. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. You've been a headache, but to outright kill someone, that's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter on both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. She's onto you, Patrice. Quick, lie harder. Don't you spout your Kunari filth. This is a hand of the Divine. I have ears, Mother Patrice. 
The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. Love or hate the Canari, a blind nug could see she took this too far. No price is too much when we speak of eternity. Eternity is long enough that we need not rush to meet it. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sir Ahawk, you stand with the Captain of the Guard? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? Grand Cleric? We protect those of the Kune. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? The Arishok is still here, Excellency. You must be ready to stand up to him. I cannot. I have already failed where it mattered most. Please. Hawk. Leave me. This won't exactly ease tensions. The Viscount's son and Canari aggression, even if justified, it won't end. Hawk, I... This could wait, but... This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems too. <laughs> what drink should I order and who's the father? Oh, you little... What is it now, you two? Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Kuhn. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die! There. Got your attention? Real problem. I heard Arashok and die. What's this about? Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castion won't kill me. Please. 
I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well, maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. Are you sure about this? The champion was asked to go to the Canari. I suppose you think he planned the entire thing. Considering what it led to. Come on, Seeker. I'm not going to sell Hawk short. But nobody could have foreseen the way that that would go down. Or do you still think I'm lying to protect my friend? There are elements of your story that make sense. And you couldn't have known about them otherwise. Well... That's a relief. But that doesn't mean you're telling me everything. I want this story to be told. You're not the first to get it all wrong. I think I owe Hawk that much. You've had luck on your travels? Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Thanks for the offer. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Wanna chew on some recruits? Leandra, dead. I... I can't believe it. That big tower in the lake is scary. He means the gallows. Kirkwall Knights aren't safe. Always some group of thugs around. Someone will usually pay for their removal, though. Hanged man. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. 